Smartphones today keep getting faster, thinner, and flashier, but weaker where it really matters. The batteries don't last, the glass cracks too easily, and every update seems designed to slow you down or track what you do. Elon Musk doesn't build things that way. Every product he touches, from Tesla cars to SpaceX rockets, follows one rule – independence, durability, and freedom from control. Now, rumors say the Tesla Pi Phone 2026 brings that same philosophy into the smartphone world. Built not as a gadget, but as a machine, made to last and made to protect its user, not the company behind it. So what kind of phone does that create? Could it finally be the first device that won't die after two years? Or one that actually puts you, not Apple, not Google, in control of your data? We'll break it all down in today's video. You're watching Auto Gear Shift, where we don't just chase Tesla rumors, we decode them. If you love real engineering talk and want to understand what Musk is really planning next, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Let's push this channel past 12,531 subs so we can keep uncovering what others won't. Feature number one. Can a phone really survive 20 years? The Tesla Pi Phone 2026 doesn't use the same soft aluminum shell you find on today's flagships. Instead, its frame is forged from a Titan aluminum matrix composite, a proprietary alloy derived from the 30X stainless and aluminum hybrid used in the Cybertruck's exoskeleton and SpaceX Falcon booster frames. Laboratory tests suggest this material achieves a yield strength of over 800 megapascals, roughly 40% higher than Apple's 7000 series aluminum, and nearly double that of conventional smartphone housings made from 6000 series alloys. This alloy isn't just strong, it's smart. By skipping paint or color coding, Tesla allows the surface to naturally generate a microscopic oxide layer when scratched. That oxidation acts like armor, sealing microfractures and preventing corrosion. According to aerospace engineers familiar with the material, this process lets the metal retain 98% of its tensile integrity after 10,000 scratch abrasion cycles, a feat no commercial smartphone frame has achieved to date. Temperature resilience is another game changer. Where most aluminum phones begin to soften at around 250 degrees Celsius, the Titan aluminum matrix maintains its rigidity up to 420 degrees Celsius, ensuring the chassis stays stable even under direct heat exposure or rapid cold to hot transitions, something SpaceX already validated for its orbital components. For many older practical users, this isn't just an engineering flex. It's peace of mind. A phone that doesn't crack, warp, or fade means no yearly upgrade cycle no fragile beauty that dies in two years. It's built to endure. And reportedly, it's the first smartphone ever certified under SpaceX's aerospace structural grade standard, making the Pi phone less a gadget and more a precision machine for life. What do you think? Comment 1 if you'd trade your iPhone for a Tesla Pi phone. Comment 2 if you still trust Apple's ecosystem more. And tell us why in the comments below. We're reading every thought. If this feature hasn't persuaded you yet, just wait for the other four coming. Feature number two. Can a smartphone battery really last 25 years without fading? Tesla seems determined to prove that battery death, the silent killer of every modern device, can finally be eliminated. The Pi Phone 2026 introduces a solid-state power cell derived from the same prototype battery packs being tested in the Tesla Model 2. Unlike conventional lithium-ion cells filled with flammable liquid electrolyte, Tesla's design replaces it with a ceramic polymer solid electrolyte capable of withstanding temperatures up to 350 degrees Celsius without structural breakdown. This new chemistry packs a volumetric energy density of 1,050 watt-hours per liter, compared to around 650 watt-hours per liter in current iPhone 17 cells, a 1.6 times increase in stored energy per cubic centimeter. More impressive is its endurance. The cell has been laboratory tested to retain over 88% capacity after 10,000 full-charge-discharge cycles, 
which equates to roughly 25 to 27 years of daily use. For comparison, a lithium-ion pack typically degrades below 80% after just 500 cycles, or less than two years for heavy users. Charging speed borders on unbelievable, but is backed by engineering logic. Using a dual-phase modulated current protocol adapted from Tesla Energy's Powerwall 4 architecture, the Pi phone can reach 80% charge in 150 seconds and 100% in just under 5 minutes, drawing a peak input of 180 watts at 98% conversion efficiency. The solid electrolyte allows higher thermal tolerance, meaning the pack remains below 42 degrees Celsius even at full speed charging, far below the critical 60 degrees Celsius threshold that typically accelerates cell decay. Feature number three, can a phone really stay online without any signal? The Tesla Pi Phone 2026 is rumored to break one of the final barriers in mobile communication, total independence from cell towers. Unlike the iPhone 17, which still relies entirely on carrier networks and offers only a limited satellite SOS feature for emergencies, the Pi Phone integrates direct Starlink satellite connectivity for full, continuous data service anywhere on Earth. At the heart of this system is a 0.8 millimeter ceramic phased array antenna embedded just beneath the Tesla logo, capable of dynamically tracking up to 12 Starlink satellites simultaneously in low Earth orbit at 550 kilometers altitude. This design gives the device a beam forming accuracy of 0.2 degrees, ensuring stable contact even during movement or partial obstruction something current smartphone antennas cannot achieve. In standard testing by Starlink engineers, prototype Pi phones demonstrated downlink speeds averaging 35 to 50 megabits per second and uplink speeds around 20 megabits per second, with a latency of just 45 to 55 milliseconds. That's roughly four times faster and six times lower latency than Apple's satellite SOS function which is capped at 8 megabits per second and limited to text-based emergency transmission. Tesla's model supports real-time voice calls, encrypted messaging, live navigation, and continuous data sync, even in areas completely devoid of cellular signal. Power consumption, traditionally a problem with satellite comms, is handled by a low-loss GAN amplifier module that reduces energy draw by 32% compared to conventional RF front ends, allowing up to nine hours of continuous Starlink connectivity on a full charge. Feature number four, can a smartphone truly be private? Unlike the iPhone 17, which still depends on Qualcomm's Snapdragon X70 modem and Apple's cloud-linked Siri processing, Tesla has cut out every third-party dependency. At its core lies the Dojo T1, a compact derivative of Tesla's in-house Dojo AI training chip, redesigned for mobile use. Built on a 5 nanometer architecture and capable of 18 trillion operations per second, it handles all computation, voice, image, and biometric data directly on the device. Running on Tesla OS, a closed-loop operating system forked from Tesla's vehicle firmware, the Pi phone doesn't transmit a single byte of personal data to the cloud. There's no advertising framework, no telemetry logging, and no external API access without explicit user consent. All machine learning, from facial recognition to voice commands, happens locally through the Dojo T1's AI cores, which reduces latency by 43% compared to Apple's neural engine, while completely eliminating server-based tracking. But the most controversial feature isn't software, it's hardware. On the left frame sits a physical privacy switch, a mechanical toggle that severs the power lines to the camera, microphone, GPS, and modem simultaneously. When switched to private mode, these circuits are physically disconnected from the mainboard, not just disabled by code. No app, process, or even Tesla itself can reactivate them until the user flips the switch back. For older users, those who've lived through decades of data breaches, spam calls, and silent surveillance, this isn't a gimmick, it's reassurance. 
a phone that can't spy because its sensors are literally offline, speaks to a deeper engineering truth. Tesla isn't selling privacy as a slogan. It's building it into the hardware. Feature number five. Can a phone really cool itself like an engine? Overheating is the silent killer of modern smartphones, draining performance, aging components, and turning even top-tier flagships into throttled hand warmers. The Tesla Pi Phone 2026 takes a page straight out of its automotive lineage, introducing an ultra-thermal cooling system based on the same liquid vapor plate graphene architecture that regulates temperature inside the Model S battery pack. At the core of this design lies a vacuum-sealed vapor chamber connected to a micro-liquid circuit that runs through the phone's titanium-aluminum frame. Heat generated by the Dojo T1 CPU and Tesla's onboard GPU cores is instantly transferred into this chamber, where it's spread across graphene capillaries and dissipated evenly through the chassis. Internal testing data from Tesla Labs shows that under sustained 8K video recording, or 100% AI workload, the Pi Phone's core temperature remains below 35 degrees Celsius, while the iPhone 17 Pro, under similar conditions, often peaks at 46 to 48 degrees Celsius before thermal throttling kicks in. The engineering difference is more than comfort, it's longevity. Lower thermal stress means up to 45% slower transistor degradation, 30% higher battery stability, and consistent frame rates even after hours of continuous use. More impressively, the system is rated to operate in extreme environments, maintaining full performance from minus 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, conditions that would cripple most consumer devices. For practical users, especially men over 50 who prioritize reliability over specs, this isn't just cooling, it's assurance. A phone that doesn't overheat doesn't throttle, and doesn't fail early is one you can actually trust. So, after all five features, aerospace-grade metal, 25-year solid-state battery, Starlink connection, hardware privacy, and engine-style cooling, the Tesla Pi Phone 2026 sounds less like a phone and more like a survival machine built for the next two decades. Now I want to hear from you. Comment, yes, Pi Phone if you think the Pi phone could really replace the iPhone 17. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you won't miss our next deep dive into what Elon Musk might be secretly building next. See you again next time.